Lent is a season of becoming. It's a time to be changed. It's not simply about exterior things. It's about interior becoming, if you will, a new person. You know, we are reborn, right? When we are baptized and then we are sealed and strengthened with confirmation and we are nourished by the body and blood of Christ. And our goal in life is to become like Christ. That's our goal. We're on a journey. We are going somewhere. And the place that we're going is this kind of sense of personal interior transformation into the likeness of Christ. We call that holiness, right? And that should be all of our goal to be very clear, okay, that we want to be holy. And that's why we observe Lent. That's why we fast. And that's why we do these things. But is there ever a tendency in us to just check the box and, and I hate to say be better than other people. Could that be part of human nature? You know it can be, absolutely. And so Jesus is telling us that our holiness, our righteousness is the word he uses actually, must surpass that of the scribes and the Pharisees. The scribes and the Pharisees were a lot about what they, how they appeared to others. We have to understand it is how we appear to God. And how we appear to God is God sees right into our hearts. And a few days ago, I guess eight or nine, not nine or ten days ago, we put some dust, ashes on your forehead, right? We asked you to recall that you are dust right? And you are dust. You have nothing. Nothing. Any pride that you have, shame on you. You know, shame on me, okay? We are dust, the dust of the earth. God has given us all the gifts that we have. And I think it's a wonderful meditation. This meditation on the, the ashes of Ash Wednesday here at our Lady of the Gulf, it's easy for me to meditate on the sand on the seashore or the stars in the sky. And you think about the magnificence of creation and what we are. And what do we have, what do we have that we did not receive from God? And that interior sense should, should call us to humility and humility is a prerequisite for holiness and holiness is the whole point the first reading about virtue and and sin and the virtuous man turning away from virtue and the in the in the sinful man turning to virtue again Maybe the virtuous man was going through the motions, but interiorly was not. And the sinful man came to understand the goodness of God and the call of God and the transformation power of his grace. So today, I'm just going to remind you that holiness and pride don't mix well. And remember your ashes. Remember your ashes. Remember your ashes.